Use my name. Master. I'm sorry. Tough! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're ranking every master from worst to best. <laughs> that is not my name! Happy birthday. <laughs> decision is scarcely yours. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be ranking the greatest versions of the Time Lord Nemesis of the Doctor on Doctor Who, usually referred to as the Master. Also, while there are some excellent audio-only versions of the character, we're in a visual domain, so we'll only be including the masters who have appeared on television. Oh yeah, we'll be using the actors' names, because unlike the Doctor, we don't really know which regeneration is which number. If there's a master you think is the master of them all, tell us your favorites and the rest of your rankings in the comments. Number 9. Peter Pratt Appearing only in a few episodes of the story, The Deadly Assassin, Peter Pratt is one of the actors to spend the least time in the role. Unfortunately, he must do so while the master is in a decayed state. When God fails me, it was necessary to use more direct means. With a skeletal appearance and a heavy cloak, this master is certainly visually striking. However, it means that Pratt's performance needs to be a bit theatrical to convey anything. Very Phantom of the Opera, in fact. Rassalon's discovery. All mine. I shall have supreme power over the universe. Although the story he appears in is quite well loved, Pratt's master is not what makes it so. Number 8. Eric Roberts Hi Bruce. Why the shades? I had a bad night. <laughs> this famed actor is one of the only Americans to play a Time Lord. First appearing in the American TV movie, this version of the Master possesses an American ambulance driver, Bruce, and then attempts to scheme to take the Doctor's regenerations. Robert's Master is fairly menacing, if gross, through most of the runtime, sporting a biker look reminiscent of the Terminator and constantly pursuing the Doctor. I always dress for the occasion. However, all that good work is undone in the last act, where he inexplicably changes his wardrobe and goes full ham. Still, that's hardly Robert's fault, and the actor has gotten the chance to return to the character in a more subdued and threatening form in other media. You are my wife. <laughs> Number 7. Jeffrey Beavers Of course, the master. Welcome to my new ship. Technically the same incarnation as Peter Pratt's master, Jeffrey Beavers' version of the character is also decidedly crispy. His makeup is a bit more well done than Pratt's, however, allowing for a more expressive appearance. Beavers only made one appearance in the classic series, in which his master attempts to gain a new, stronger body for himself. I shall enjoy full mobility once again. While he may not seem that much better than the last two masters on the surface, Beavers stands head and shoulders above them thanks to his decades of performances in the role in audio dramas, which have helped make him one of the longest serving masters. Beaver's sinister, commanding voice is perfect for that medium, and if he had more time on camera, he'd easily be higher on our list. So, a new body at last. Number 6, Sasha Darwan. Doctor, I, I did say look for the spy master. Or, or should I say spy master? Sasha's master is the most recent version of the villainous Time Lord, at least as of this video. Although some of the episodes he's appeared in have proved polarizing, his master is generally seen as one of the strongest aspects of them. I don't understand. No, I, I know you don't. But you will. Frequently gleeful in his villainy and bitterly angry towards the Doctor, this version of the Master has perpetrated some of the vilest acts out of any of them, 
including devastating Gallifrey and revealing the secrets of the timeless child. You're about to have much bigger things to think about. Sasha Dawan may not bring much new to the character, but he still manages to be a solid master who elevates every scene he's in. Number 5. Derek Jacoby They say there was time travel back in the old days. I never believed. When the Doctor and viewers first met the kindly Professor Yana helping the last humans at the end of the universe, he and the rest of us were shocked to discover that Yana was actually the master with amnesia. Not to worry, my dear. As one door closes, another must open. Jacoby plays the turn from helpful scientist to cold villain to perfection. While this master doesn't manage to last long, given that he regenerates soon after regaining his memory, the actor manages to turn in a powerful performance in this short time. Now I can say I was provoked. He's prideful, murderous, and everything a master should be. It's honestly disappointing we don't see more of his master on screen. The master. Reborn. Thankfully, as with several other masters, Big Finish managed to give him a second life in audio form. Number 4. Anthony Einley I will be free of it. I will be free of it. The longest serving actor to play the master on television, Anthony Einley's version of the character fights against nearly every classic doctor. Fond of disguises and convoluted plans, Einley's master can sometimes come across as somewhat generic and even a bit of a joke. Even so, the fact he's such a long running thorn in the doctor's side means that Einley gets to explore the character in some fun ways. And rescue the doctor. <laughs> Sometimes this master aids the Doctor, while other occasions see the two of them come to literal blows. Einley may not go as big or as memorable as the remaining masters on this list, but he's still one of the most important ones. <laughs> the decision is scarcely yours. Number 3. Michelle Gomez Who are you? You know who I am. I told you. You felt it. <gasps> Surely you did. The first female incarnation of the Master, or rather, the Mistress, is played by Michelle Gomez. Missy, as she calls herself, is irreverent and delights in being evil, toying with everyone around her for her own amusement. While she can be sadistic and completely mad, Missy is also one of the few masters to undergo a significant character arc. I don't want an army! Now, well, that's the trouble! Yes, you do! You've always wanted one! Despite her nature, Missy apparently wants to reconnect with the Doctor, and the two nearly rekindle their friendship. She also comes the closest out of all of them to wanting to do good. Your wish is my command secretly on your side all along, you silly sausage. But really, it's Gomez's evil Mary Poppins vibe that makes Missy so much fun. You win. I know. Number 2. John Sim We meet at last, Doctor. <laughs> I love saying that. The master who regenerated from the Professor Yana incarnation, John Sim's vision, is a sharp contrast. Initially facing David Tennant's 10th Doctor, this master proved a match for Tennant's manic energy and charisma, while also displaying plenty of the master's usually sadistic and cruel actions. What if I reverse it? Another... hundred years? <laughs> Sim's master also delved deeper into the character's insanity, exploring its potential origins and seeing him reach new heights of scenery chewing. Still, he's able to deliver more subtle villainy as well. Uh, well let's stop, Doctor. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's stop. 
He's also one of the few masters to achieve near total victory over the Doctor, at least temporarily. Sim's master is excellent, but not quite the master of them all. The human race was always your favorite, Doctor. But now, there is no human race. There is only the master race. Number one, Roger Delgado. I am usually referred to as the master. Oh, is that so? Universally. Mm. Roger Delgado is usually referred to as the best master, almost universally. He also happens to be the first actor to play the role. Death is always more frightening when it strikes invisibly. Delgado's master clashed frequently with John Pertwee's third doctor, usually allying with various alien races to gain power. Debonair and maniacal in equal measure, so much of what makes the master who they are began with Delgado. He's the Professor Moriarty to the Doctor's Sherlock Holmes, but he also manages to feel like the Doctor's best friend turned villain. And it's no wonder why, since Delgado and Pertwee were friends in real life. Do you want him killed now? No. He might yet prove useful. Delgado set the bar impossibly high for those who followed him. Truly, he is the master of masters. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.